Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about full stack developers and DevOps. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what about full stack versus DevOps? Does being a full stack developer also include doing DevOps? And the short answer is no, it does not. But this is a little bit of a loose term. Let me explain. So the, the problem with answering what DevOps actually means is that nobody really knows what it means. It's like operations with people who know how to code, right? Yeah. Like nobody knows. Honest to God, nobody knows what DevOps actually means. It's like say, asking what is a microservice? Nobody can answer you. What is a REST API? Well, everybody has an opinion on what a REST API is, and DevOps is the same thing. So, when you say full stack, well, what definition are you going to use? Like the traditional definition of a full stack developer is actually the term that we've not used in quite a while, which is more accurate, which is going to be application developer. So, an application developer is the person who is literally building the application, the actual code that is going to run in the system. And then you would have traditionally had a operations person who is, or a system administrator or something like that, who is responsible for taking all that code, usually usually in a tarball or something like that, and extract that on a server and set it up and just make sure that the machine is running and all of that good stuff. That is usually the split. So what is DevOps then? Oh, so DevOps is the well, that's the idea anyway. It's the mashup between these two things. And what that in practice means is that you don't have a dedicated operations person who, quote unquote, just knows how to do operations. You have a developer who knows operations. What's interesting, I think, about that is that it's really not that much of a difference between these two. The main difference is that you have someone who needs to be more in tune with the interactive, like, basically, you need someone with a higher level of training, or someone who is more like, who is more of a generalist than a specialist. That's what you're looking for. So the DevOps people that I work with, or the people who are supposed, quote unquote, to do DevOps, these are guys and the uh, girls who started out as developers, and then they learned how to manage infrastructure and things of this nature, and that's pretty much it. So sure, they're taking care of all the operations things and they are full stack developers, but these things are not exclusive. Because if you're a full stack developer, sure, you can go into DevOps and you can learn all the things that are related to operations just as a person who's working in DevOps, or as I said, whatever that means. Because the thing is, if you're working in operations, well, if we're going to be very strict about the term, then you're not a DevOps person because you don't know how to code or like that's the idea or whatever DevOps now actually means. But you can be a full stack developer without having to deal with all the operations. So the normal workflow is usually that you have full stack developers, front end developers, back end developers and so forth work on the application, so called as I call as I said application developers and this is regardless of if you have a DevOps culture or not usually you have people who just do that and then you this is the weird part about DevOps then you still have developers then all right let's call them developers who focuses almost exclusively on the operations operations part. Now the benefit to this is that they know how to code. That's very useful because if you know how to write software, you can write custom script, you can write custom scripts, custom applications and all kinds of other useful things and you have in many cases a better understanding of how to deal with applications and outages and stuff like that if you know code, no coding than if you don't know any of that stuff and you just know the operations part. So there is a benefit to this, but the workflow is to, and the work split is usually the same. It's not like if you want to be a full stack developer, then you need to learn all the things about DevOps as well, because it's fundamentally two different specializations. 
like one per one person, a full stack developer, in normal cases, focuses on the application and just building features and stuff like that. Whereas a DevOps person needs to focus on running the infrastructure. You can combine these things into the same person, but no, like then. But the only thing that changes then is the it's the same difference as being a front end developer or a back end developer or a full stack developer. You're just combining two different skills into one person, and that person is a little bit more diverse. So. That's practically the, the difference I want you to understand. Full stack does not mean that you need no DevOps. You can be a full stack developer without knowing DevOps. And you can be a DevOps developer without like necessarily being an application developer. You just need to know how to write some code. You can combine the two and make one type of some type of super coder. There are people, unicorn coders as we like to call them, that know all of the things. They're like jack of all trades and they can just kind of do whatever they want. But it's not a hard requirement for you. So what I want you to take away from this is that being a full stack developer does not require you to know DevOps or operations or anything like that. It's actually not something that is all that common. Finding a DevOps engineer usually requires you to either find a junior who really specialized in this in like kind of from the get-go but in many cases what you're looking for is essence a developer with quite a lot of experience who has been working for long enough that they've picked up all the operation stuff as well it's not something that is it's not very common that you have a full stack developer who is equal parts a devops engineer then the people that you find that actually do this have work for quite some time but it's not a requirement it's just due to their path through their career and personal interest they picked up all of these things then there are dedicated people who just work with operations and that's an entire it's an entire job in of itself so you're never going to be in a situation where if you want to do application developments then you have to know devops and vice versa it's usually more more decoupled than that have a great day